<laughs> you don't know what I just did, where I just stuck my hands to make my face look like this either. Um, I'm a bit worried. But what I am going to do is first. Can anyone still hear me? Are you in comms? I can't hear anybody. I just heard. Yeah, I can. I can. Ch I'm checking it. Ah, there you go. Now I can. Now I can hear everybody. Whew, I thought for a minute that these lions are going to come and I mean the elephants are going to come and chase the lions and then I thought I was going to have to do a Facebook live with my beard which would have been disastrous <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> this is the only time I've ever wished that animals didn't come this way because that is going to be horribly embarrassing oh we can't do Facebook lives yet sorry okay sorry Chris I thought I read that email wrong anyways but how cool is this to have elephants and that's a big girl walking just behind the lions they haven't realized that there are lions just sitting a little away from them otherwise they'd be freaking out i reckon and not that there's any really small elephant calves within this herd uh, so I, it would just be a, a chase you know it wouldn't be a oh i'm fearing for my baby's life type of thing which elephants do often oh no hang on look at that behavior change see how she's twisted her trunk i think the wind blow look at her tail see how her tail's raised away from her body i think she has just realized that there is a predator nearby let's see what she does if she's going to go around this girl's been around forever yes she's seen them now she smelt them she saw them let's see what her reaction is going to be like i said they wouldn't there's no need for them to go charging towards them because there's no young young elephants and these lions are not going to be interested however the tables might turn because the lionesses have got young cubs that they'll also want to protect so maybe we're going to get some growling, although most of the time with elephants and lions, the lions will just get up and run away because they know where they stand. I'm now attracting the flies with all the mud that I have on my face. She, it's quite nice. I might leave it on for the whole drive. I might go back and put some more on because I feel like my skin's going really nice and tight. And this is what must, it must feel like for the elephants. Maybe this is how the elephants get rid of their wrinkles is by lathering themselves with mud. Who knows? Well, we know we know why they cover themselves in mud, but I'm just thinking my skin is nice and tight. Very cool. She doesn't seem too bothered, but she could also pretend to feed towards him. She's put she is eating now though, so she's she's theoretically relaxed. But we know what elephants do. Yeah, look, she's creeping closer and closer. Just feeling around. I'm actually freezing now. I'm going to put my jacket on while I sit here. I do apologize for the noise. The wind is sending a chill down my spine. And I'm, I always think I'm brave when I wear shorts on a safari. But all the lions are watching closely. Because they know if she comes charging towards them, she's going to come at quite a speed. And they're all going to have to get out of the way. Otherwise, they'll end up being squashed. Which is what we don't want. And I don't think they want that either. No, elephants decided to take the high road this morning and leave the lions alone and not disturb them. And I'm sure that those cats are very happy. Oh, hang on. Uh, turning back just to have a look to make sure. That's a really nice sighting. It's always really cool to see two of the big five in, in, in one sighting and especially something like elephants. Well, they're my favorite animal, but that was an old girl. Well done, lions. You didn't panic. And if they'd got up and run as well, it could have enticed that elephant to chase them too. Now, Michael, you're wondering how often do lions in the Mara attempt to hunt uh, as often as they need and whenever there's an opportunity. So obviously last night there was no opportunity for these lions. I did say that I'd scanned around and there was absolutely no prey barring uh, one reed buck, which was alarming and really knew that the lions were there. So they may, they've maybe moved... 200 meters since we saw them last night so they've, they've barely gone anywhere and i think what they're hoping is with there not being much prey around last night is that the warthogs are going to come out during the day they often hunt warthogs or attempt to hunt warthogs in this area and i haven't seen any just yet but it's still quite chilly so they could have also had a bit of a late start but we'll keep our eyes open for any unsuspecting unsuspecting prey they are hungry though 
I mean, you heard it last night when those little cubs were suckling. I mean, they were desperate. Their bellies were empty. And go dog, you're wondering how long can a lion go without eating? Actually, quite a bit of time. A lot longer than I'd be able to last without going without having food. Uh, so, <sighs> the longest I've seen lions go without food, it was actually some lions down in the Eastern Cape, and it was almost it was almost two weeks. It must have been about between I don't know nine and. 14 days it was a long 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 time they were thin you could count every vertebrae on their body you could count every rib and they were it's not that they weren't uh, trying they definitely were and there's no shortage of food in that particular area uh, the odds just were against them and the girls couldn't do it and then one day these two lionesses chased a zebra down in a, a valley uh, quite a narrow valley and I think the zebra had slipped because you'd had a lot of rain and I always talk about how muddy it is in the Eastern Cape and then that's how they managed to catch the zebra so even though they were completely um, they, they were emaciated it was really not pleasant to look at they looked like they were on their last legs and at one point the guides were worried we were saying you know are these cats going to make it and we didn't want to intervene because we want to keep it as w of course wild as possible but then some were saying no we should but we left it and I'm glad that we we decided to leave it and, and just let it all play out uh, they they managed and then they were fine and then they were back to being the top dogs again on the property and catching things left right and center so sometimes that does happen where they just sure they try their absolute best they don't succeed time and time again and and it must be so rewarding for them to eventually bring something down I mean can you imagine not eating for eight or nine days and then finally getting a meal I mean you would stuff your face it probably wouldn't be very good for you to stuff your face you probably have to eat slowly but lions don't know that they just gorge themselves all the time they know they need to have meat in their bellies as regularly as possible especially when you've got young cubs and they did have cubs too uh, so those the little ones were suffering probably the most more so than the adults because when you're that age you're doubling in size Manu, can you see that bird that's using the wind to hover? So I'm going to draw your attention away from the lions very quickly. I just want to see what, do you, what have we got? It's, is it the pallid harrier again? I'm just trying to have a look on my screen. It's a bit dark at the moment. Well, you, no, you're not. You're a black-shouldered kite. Very cool. So an amazing bird. Hovering. Now, they don't actually... Is it a black-shouldered kite? It's so difficult to see. It does look like one. Can someone confirm that it's a black-shouldered kite? Because for some reason I can't see very well on my screen. It's about the size of one. And it's behaving like one. Yes, it is. And um, they don't need the wind at all. But it is using the wind today. Uh, they can do the backpedaling motion with their wings just like a pied kingfisher. And we only have two species of true hovering birds. Flying straight over the top of the lions off it goes. Oh, that was nice. Very, very, very cool to see that. Obviously, no luck with a rat or a mouse there. No, the lions were watching it. I thought that the young cubs would have been very entertained by that, but they seem to be exhausted, and I'm sure they're hungry and miserable and cold. They're not wanting to play around and waste any energy. So they'll probably just sit here and groom themselves until the adults spot something. They, they do look like they're waking up slightly, though. Uh, of course, mom's now grooming some of the youngsters. The adults are doing big yawns. Hopefully they are going to go and scan. I'm looking. Where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? Hopefully they find a meal in a little while. We'll stick here for a bit longer. Let's go into Scott's car. It sounds like he's got some wrestling animals.